Disclaimer, this video contains opinions. If you can't handle other people's opinions, please click off this video. With that being said, if you're still here, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? So if you read the title, which I'm sure a lot of you guys did, in today's video, we're going to be doing a 2023 Quest 2 review and finding out the Quest 2 still holds up as a good standalone VR headset. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Now before we actually start reviewing the headset itself and all of its good stuff, uh, I just want to make a quick note. I've only had my Quest for about a month now, and also this is my first ever VR headset I've ever gotten. So my opinions and whatnot might be a little bit biased because, you know, I freaking love VR uh, and whatnot. And this is my first VR headset, like I just said. So do take that into consideration. Uh, this is not really like a comparing video, like comparing the VR to other VRs. Uh, this is more of just like giving my personal review on the Quest 2 and seeing if it still holds up in 2023. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Before we get into the headset and the controllers and all the other fun bedazzly stuff, we're going to be reviewing the box. I know a lot of people don't really care about the box, but... Honestly, I freaking love the design of this box. The box is very, very nice. And you see my box in particular is the one that comes with Resident Evil 4, which is a great game. If you don't own it, uh, then, you know, get it because it's good. Not sponsored, by the way. The box design, very, very nice. It's very, like, premium-like. I really, really like that. Uh, my cat is currently right underneath my tripod and I'm praying to the Lord that she doesn't knock it over. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, back to the box. So the box design, it feels very, very much like a premium box. It's got this nice like cardboard covering on it. Let me go ahead and just take that off. And it slides off with ease. And that's really all it is, just a little cardboard covering. But then we get to the actual box itself and it's absolutely spectacular. It's got the nice Meta Quest 2, which used to say Oculus Quest 2. Uh, and then it just opens up. And obviously you can see I have all like junk inside of there. Uh, you just have like your sleeves and like a little box that has like manuals and... Or not manuals, sorry. The, the charger and power outlet is in this box. But uh, it's very much like very premium. And I really, really like that considering the price of this. Like, honestly, this box alone is just really, really good. Yeah. 10 out of 10 on the box. Box design. Now, I also have the uh, Elite Strap, which you'll, you'll see on my Quest. I obviously have the, uh, the Elite Strap on my headset. But I also have the box for... Oh, that's upside down. I have the box for it. Which, it also is the same thing. Also, it bears the original Oculus uh, name, so that's pretty cool. It comes off the same way, and it looks exactly the same as the other one. You just open it up, and you got your things inside of it. And then I, I keep the original strap in here in case I need to replace it or anything. I don't know. Which, we'll, we'll talk about the strap itself later on in today's video. So yeah, though, that's basically my review on the boxes for them. I say I love the boxing, uh, packaging, design, everything. I just love it. It looks really, really good. Really nice and premium feeling. 10 out of 10 on the box. No! Now let's talk about the controllers. So they're just right here sitting behind uh, my cat here. This is Sally, by the way. Uh, if you all have never seen her. She's super, super adorable. We got her like a couple years, like a year ago, I think. No? Pretty sweet. Anyways, uh, so these are the Quest 2 controllers. The Quest 2 controllers are super, super good. They have, I believe, like inside out tracking and stuff like that. And this ring around it might look kind of dumb or whatever. 
to some people, but this ring is actually what, you know, you what the headset uses to track. The headset itself, as you can see, oh, excuse me, has four cameras on it, and it uses those cameras to track where the position of the controllers are and also the position of where you are. So these controllers are very, very comfortable. You know, they don't, they're, they're not very, uh, as, as weird as they look, they're not very like uncomfortable. They don't like my hands wouldn't like cramp up and stuff. I have heard other people where the hands have cramped up before, um, from using it. I think that's just like a normal thing with really any controller, not just Quest 2 controllers. Um, some other things that people have complained about is there's not like a strap really. I mean, personally, I think the, your basic hand strap or whatever that just, a wrist strap, whatever you call it, uh, that just goes on your hand. I think these are perfectly fine because, you know, I always wear them when I play VR and they're really good for like, if I need to quickly like adjust my headset or something like that, I can just drop them and then do whatever I want and then easily pick them back up. These things are pretty uh, durable uh, and whatnot. And the buttons are very, 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 very cool. Because these buttons and the joystick have, like, I don't know what it's called. But it has it to where, like, it can detect if your finger is actually on it or not. Which is freaking insane. And that's for each controller. It also has, I haven't seen many people talk about this, if you can even see it. It has a little pad on both controllers next to your A uh, a and B button or your X and Y button. There's like a little circular pad and you can also place your thumb on there uh, for like a another thing that detects if your hand is there or not. Uh, yeah, it's very 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 comfortable and your hand just like perfectly meshes with everything. You know the grip button is right there on your middle finger so it's easy to just kind of like you know mimic that you're like grabbing something, your trigger or the triggers right there on your pointer perfect for like guns or something or whatever uh it's it's just I, the design of it is just really really good everything is just placed perfectly on this also uh, i probably should have mentioned this when i talked about it but this little strap right here can actually uh come off you can just pop the battery casing off sally do you mind <laughs> My cat really wanted to take them off or something. I don't know. That was really funny. Anyways, you just pop off the battery casing and you just pretty much slide out the little little tab and you can take off the hand straps if you really don't like them. I wouldn't recommend doing that because I don't want, uh, for me, uh, I wouldn't want my controllers flying across the room while I'm playing uh, Beat Saber. Or any game for that matter yeah overall these controllers are super super good well designed and I honestly wouldn't change a thing about them I wouldn't add anything I wouldn't remove anything I really think that these are very very good controllers they you know grip perfectly with your hands and they're just really nice also when you um, a lot of people don't know this uh, when you like press the A button or whatever, they have like a little light in them. The headset also has a light in it. We'll talk about that here in a second. But yeah, they do have a little light in them, which is pretty cool. Now, before we get into the headset itself, I want to talk about a huge complaint with the Quest 2, and that's this thing. This is the strap that comes with your Quest 2 if you go and buy one, which, by the way, if you want to get $30 bonus uh, in-store credit, go in the description and click the little referral link and make sure you activate that on your account before you sync your headset up to uh, your account. You'll get free $30. So this strap, it sucks. It really, really sucks. I mean, it makes sense. They had to, you know, cheapen it up in some way uh, to you know, make the strap, or make the headset, sorry, the headset not so expensive, though it's kind of pricey at the moment with the recent increase of $100, but the, the strap still sucks. This strap is doo-doo. It is horrible. Now, 
when you're first getting your quest, it's good. It's not like it's horrible in the, a way where it's gonna like, you shake your head and it's gonna fly off your head or whatever, you know, no. It, it does, you know, securely hold your head, but at times it just gets uncomfortable, especially after long hours of playtime and whatnot. This thing is just not for it. But this Elite Strap, which there are way better straps out here than the official Oculus one. I just have the official Oculus one. I know there's ones, I think they're called like Halos or something like that. Those are super comfortable because they have like padding on like the insides and everything. This one just has a little leather, um, or I don't think it's leather actually, I think it's rubber. Something like that. Some little thing that just kind of sits on the back of your head. It's got a little notch so you can, you know, loosen it or tighten it. And this strap holds so much better. I mean, it's insane. Like... You can, you can see here how I can like shake my head and it doesn't really like shake too much. It still shakes a little bit obviously because it's not super tight on my head and whatnot, but I can obviously make it tighter, but I don't want to make it tighter. But yeah, this head strap is just way better than the one. And if you are going to pick one up, I highly recommend getting a different head strap because even after like a month of playing it, a, a different head strap, or not even a month, I had the original head strap for like probably a couple weeks at most and then I got this head strap and it just felt so much better so if you are going to get one I do recommend to try and get a different head strap whether if it's a third party one or the official one from Oculus they oh excuse me they also have one that has like a little battery pack on it uh they, they have like third parties and the official one which gives your quest more battery life and whatnot so it's very, very cool. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time for my review on the headset itself. This headset is horrible. I'm kidding. This headset is actually the exact opposite. This thing is freaking amazing. The graphics on it, they are not the best. I believe it does have a, uh, what's it called? The freaking... I'll probably put it up on the screen. Something fire dragon uh, chip in it. Something like that in it. Uh, a lot of VR headsets uh, that come out or have come out have that chip in here. And it's, it's a really good processing chip. The headset alone is just amazing. It's a really, really good way to start off your, your VR and whatnot if you have never played VR and whatnot. Uh, the, it's, it's very simple. You know, you have your power button right there. Uh, and then you got the volume button here on the bottom of it. And then, you know, the inside's got this nice cushioning. And also, uh, I'd have to go and find it somewhere. But it, it does come with a, like, rubber uh, covering for this. You can either use it to protect it or you could wear it if you want to. I personally don't ever use it. Though I probably should. Because there have been times where I've gotten, like, like fur and stuff from this little rascal and other little rascals that are around my house. But the headset itself is really, really good. Uh, the The visuals are really good. The, the lenses are super amazing. And they also have three different little modes, which you can use to, like, adjust um, for your, your eyes. Yeah. The speakers on this thing are pretty, pretty cool. Um, they are actually very, very loud, surprisingly. And they do... They literally sit like right next to your ear, and so you hear everything. It's really good. Now, some for certain games and whatnot, I would recommend getting headphones, um, but you don't need headphones. Personally, I don't use headphones when I'm playing because I don't really have a good pair of uh, headphones that will work around the uh, strap and whatnot. But if you are going to play uh, VR, and whatnot and you do want better audio I do recommend getting some headphones the the graphics themselves pretty good I would it, it's basically mobile graphics but it does still get the point across and there's even been times where I've been pretty amazed at how good it looks like certain games like Resident Evil and whatnot they just almost feel real which is insane uh, it's like literally in a different world and then you know, other games like Beat Saber, they're more cartoony and whatnot, very simplistic, and they don't need um, tons of graphics or whatever. And even those games with their uh, scenery and whatnot, those even look good. 
So overall, I think this headset alone is just spectacular and so amazing. Highly recommend that, you know, if you wanted to get into VR, this is probably the best way and the cheapest way to start. Because this headset is just so, so spectacular. I mean, like, it's, it's really good. Now, comparing it to other VR headsets, it's not the best. It is not the best. It does have its problems, like the battery life. The battery life is only about two to three hours. Uh, you can get a little more battery life out of it. Uh, and then you can also do like different battery packs and whatnot. And I've even seen some people where they just buy literal like square battery packs. They plug it in on the side and then they shove it in their pocket and they get like an extra hour of gameplay. Um, you can do that option too. But yeah, the, this, this VR headset is just amazing. I, I don't have, the only problems that I have with it is just the original strap and battery life. I feel like that's just about it. Uh, especially for some games like VR chat, uh, the battery life is greatly needed because you can only get like three at most, like probably three hours of this. Uh, and in VR chat, I can probably only get like two, just over two and a half hours. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. One, one other thing to point out, I completely forgot about this. It's got a headphone jack. My iPhone doesn't even have a headphone jack. What the heck, Apple? Anyways, so the Quest 2, absolutely spectacular. I know I've been rambling on and whatnot, but I mean, I, I just, I just don't know what to say really, to be honest. Yeah, the headset, very, very good. Only complaints is the battery life and maybe some better graphics. I mean, like I said before, you know, the graphics are mobile graphics, so they're not going to be the best, but they are still pretty good for a lot of games. Um, so, yeah, that's really it. And with all of that being said, that concludes today's video, but I do have one more thing. If you do plan on picking up a uh, Quest 2 headset, go down in my description and there should be a referral link there and you should be able to get $30 store credit. You heard me right, $30 for your brand new headset. This will also give me $30. It's like a, it's, it's like a little like supporting thing, basically a way to support me and you get a little benefit too. Um, yeah. So it, it's a little $30 store credit referral thing. You get $30, I get $30, you know. It, it's a win-win for both of us. Make sure you just go down there and activate it on your account before you sync up your headset to your uh, the Oculus app whenever you're booting it up and getting it and all that stuff. Uh, but once you have it linked and you do connect a headset up to the app and whatnot when you're syncing it, uh, you should get the $30 store credit, and I will also get a little $30 store credit. So, it's a pretty good deal if you ask me. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, I know I haven't really been uploading much lately, and uh, I've been doing like kind of smaller videos whenever I can, but this video has taken me like over a month to make. I wanted to at least have the quest for at least like a good month or something so when i do do this review like you just saw i would have a good review and whatnot even though a lot of a lot of it was just me rambling on and stuff like that yeah this video has taken me quite some time and i've had this idea about it even before i announced my return back to youtube so yeah basically long story short i spent way too much time making this video just kidding i didn't spend enough time making this video so basically uh, I spent a lot of time on this video and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed. I mean, it's, it's literally free. It's, it's like right down there and it's just two clicks. Boop, boop, done. I'm really trying my dang hardest best to get to 1000 subs and even higher than that. So make sure you go down below and like and subscribe so I can reach my goals. And with that being said, I will see you guys in another video. Peace out, you epic gamers. Thank you.